Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of City Astrology. I'm Danielle Mercurio and I'm here to tell you all about the new moon in Sagittarius, which I am also calling Independence Day. Woohoo! So we are coming off uh, Scorpio right now and for a lot of you it was really great, especially our water and air signs. You felt a lot of deep comfort, a lot of nurturing, and then for some of my fire and air signs it was almost like a little bit too soothing and you were ready for something else. You were kind of getting a little bit antsy. Well, no matter what your sign, this is the time for you. Sagittarius brings in such a beautiful light energy. It's a welcoming force. It's something that everyone can really relate to and feel comfortable and adapt to. So I just have a feeling you're really going to enjoy this upcoming Sagittarius season ahead. And for those of you that know Sagittarians, you may think of them as very adventurous. They're the happy-go-lucky ones. Everything seems to just kind of work out for them. They're the type that if something's not working for them, they figure out a new way and they're out. Or maybe they don't want to figure out a new way. They just know it's not not working and they're getting out of here, right? So we are going to start to take on some of that energy as we enter into this new force. So the new moon is going to start on Saturday, November 23rd at 7.23 a.m. Eastern Time. And it's going to span for about 48 hours. So you'll have this energy to work with for the whole weekend. So Monday morning, it's going to kind of start to dissipate. And it's going to bring in this whole sense of what I'm saying, independence and your truth. And really putting yourself in a space where you can be vulnerable and ask for what you want, like what you really want. The, the things that you have just been too afraid afraid to ask for that feel too big or feel like maybe you don't deserve it, this is your time. You deserve it. What you want, I want you to ask for at full force and know that it's your truth and know that if you feel something on a soul level and deep down that it's meant to be yours, then it really is. And this is the time to start to go and get it. New moons are a time for rebirth, recycle, kind of clearing out all the weeds and the things that you don't really want that haven't really been working for you, and to plant new seeds and see what you can grow and see what you can bring to life for this upcoming month and who knows how much further ahead. So like I said, the new moons can begin on Saturday morning and you can do your ritual then or you can do it whenever time feels comfortable for you. For me personally, I like doing it at night. I think there's something more mystical and, and magical about it all. Some people like to do their rituals closest to the origin of the new moon. Again, it's up to you. There's no right or wrong. It's whatever feels comfortable, whatever works with your time schedule and the best way for you to get it in uh, as far as your ritual goes. So the new when the new moon starts, what you want to do is I recommend finding a comfortable space. Maybe you want to light some candles, bring your crystals with you, maybe start off with a meditation that you really enjoy, something where you can really feel centered and kind of get all the clutter out of your mind and start to get into a more heart-based, soulful place. And then once you're there, I want you to make a list. Now, Jupiter is actually the planet that rules Sagittarius, and Jupiter is the planet of luck expansion, prosperity. I freaking love this planet. And it is going to be so heightened during this new moon of Sagittarius. So the law of attraction is going to be in full force right now. So when you make your list for the new moon, I want you to pick about three things that you really want to attract. And I mean, go freaking big. Like the things that they were to happen, you would be so blown away, like so like floored. Put those down. I want I want at least three. Um, you want to make it somewhat manageable, so if they were to actually happen, you would be somewhat ready for it. Of course, the universe doesn't give us anything that we can't handle, um, but you do want to be a little bit practical with it and not go you know, too big or, or take advantage of Jupiter's energy. We want to respect it, and we want to make sure that it gives us what we deserve in a, in a beautiful, loving way as it does. So you're going to write down those things, and then what I like to do, and this is totally up to you, I like to put it in a box. I have a little... Uh, token box that I use. I think I I have it right here. It's very little because I, I make it very small and I just kind of crunch it in there. And then I keep it up on my altar. And then when the full moon comes, which will be the full moon December 6th, I believe, I like to then do my ritual and I burn it and I offer it up. And the great thing that's going to happen in the month of December, all of these seeds that we planted, all these items that we put on our list, as we're digging them into the ground, Jupiter is going to act like super, super, super fertilizer for your desires. And on December 8th, the planet's actually going to go in retrograde. 
So what that means is it's going to be really heightened and it's going to be that way until April 8th, 2015. So what it's going to do is it's going to take at least one of the items from that list that you wrote and really start to supercharge the energy into those action items. And you're going to start to see signs from what item it is from the list. You'll, I have a feeling around December 8th or the weeks that follow, you'll start to kind of know what area it is that you're supposed to focus on, what area of growth is going to mean the most for you. And I really want you to get centered on that and really focus on that for the next, um, what will it be, six months, five months, whenever April is. So from this time until April, um, really focus on those action items and really kind of bringing them to fruition because it's just going to take off. So this is just a really magical new moon. This whole weekend, I want you to really be focusing on the law of energy, um, abundance, attraction, what it is that you want to vibrationally bring back to you because you freaking deserve it. Ask any Sagittarius what their most valuable thing about their life is and they'll say their independence and having fun and having a sense of adventure and not wasting their life. And so I really want you to take that energy on for this new moon and really have some fun. It's really great that this fell on a weekend. Um, relax, really be excited about what the things you're going to manifest are and who knows what's going to happen so go big i'm really excited for you be a little bit practical um, don't go too over the top with your list of items but if you have a few items that you can go really big with that's what i recommend and have some fun if you have any questions about how your sun sign relates to the new moon or just anything else with the actual setup of how it goes let me know you can email me at danielle at danielmercurial.com or just leave a comment below and we'll go from there so happy new moon everyone enjoy it and i will talk to you at the next awesome planetary happening bye